Hey guys, Canon here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to make an effect in After Effects have an audio react. And so here are some examples of what we're going to do. The first one will be a glow, the second one will be Video Copilot Twitch. let's go ahead and get started so I've already brought up and created some compositions and so the first thing we're gonna to want to go ahead and do on our uh, audio timeline we're gonna right click keyframe assistant convert audio to keyframes and so this is gonna create different values for each of the different waveforms in the audio and so the first, uh, after that we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on our audio amplitude we're gonna delete the right and left hand channel we're not gonna need those and so after that we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add glow to this so effect stylize glow and we're gonna actually go ahead and alt click on threshold and then that's gonna bring up our expression bar and so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna actually parent oh, hit you on the uh, audio amplitude so we can see the slider we're gonna actually go ahead and parent um, that uh, the glow threshold to the slider and so now we're actually going to go ahead and hit asterisk, so shift and 8, and then we're going to hit 2. And so then that will multiply it, and as you saw in the preview, that's, what, that's all it's going to be. Um, it's very easy to do. Uh, you can mess with the different parameters of threshold, intensity, everything. Um, I'm more making this just for the expression part, um, so you can you know get a grasp of how to do this, and then you can go make it your own and be creative with it. And so we're going to go ahead and do this with uh, Twitch now. Um, now with Twitch, we're going to do a little bit more work with the expression um, to make it so it's not, it doesn't affect it as much and only on the highest and lowest parts of the waveform. So we're going to go ahead and go to Keyframe Assistant, convert audio to keyframes, delete the left and right hand channel again, and we're going to go ahead and affect Video Copilot to Twitch. And then we're going to go ahead and hit U on our audio amplitude to bring up the keyframed values. We're going to go ahead and alt click on amount, bring up our expression bar, and we're going to parent it once again. And I'm not going to show you guys just because my computer sucks and it takes forever to run preview. But at this stock value, um, it's going to affect, uh, if I had everything enabled, it's going to affect it way too much. And it's just, if I had slide enabled, for example, it's going to just slide for everything. Um, so what we want to do is so make it so it's only going to affect the strongest parts of the music. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click into our expression bar, and we're at the beginning we're going to go ahead and write music equals, and then at the end of the first line we're going to put a semicolon. We're going to hit enter or return, and then we're going to go ahead and write linear, and then we're going to go ahead and put a parenthesis, music capital M, M is. Uh, case sensitive and then comma 30 comma 50 comma 0 comma 200 and then in parentheses and like you guys saw in um, uh, the example it really is kind of just looks like a glitch it's just it's really quick and the reason why is because we're telling after effects and this effect to only do it at these certain parts of the music and so we can go ahead and put on blur color and uh, slide and then what I would do is go ahead and uh, operator controls I went up color bump that up to like 250 turn the slide down a little bit and like I said I'm basically making this for you guys to go just get a grasp of it so you can go and uh, make these effects your own and so uh, thanks for watching today and uh, make sure to uh, comment rate and subscribe thank you bye